Hello, Zero K fans, and welcome to Nanolades at Dawn. I'm your host, Shadow Fury 333 and today is going to be, as usual, an exhibition match stream, starting out with a game between Magman and 400 on Altier Crossing. Another small map, which typically favors a lot of reclaim, because there's a lot of reclaim, and also, obviously, very quick attacks, because it is small, and there is a very quick rush path between the two players. So Magman going for the Shield Bat Factory, and 400 going for Spider Bot Factory. Little unusual, these cliffs are... Not bot pathable. I mean, a lot of the sides are not bot pathable, but they do have ramps to get up there. So I'm guessing that's probably why. I mean, 400 going for a typical flea start, just getting their scouting going, because fleas are basically a map hack, whereas Magman is going for very quick reclaim. Already getting a couple convicts up. Actually, are they getting infinite build convicts? Oh, I can't even really tell. No, they are not. They are just getting a couple of convicts because they want to reclaim. Being quite intelligent about that, though. They're reclaiming, but they're also building up their power plants and everything. So it's all pretty well put together. I think Magman starts pretty safe. 400, on the other hand, going for just a general, typical, any map start, which is build up your metal, build up your energy. So 400's a little bit behind in terms of energy production. But, of course, they do also have a lot of knowledge of what's going on. Like, fleas everywhere. And can see where all the bandits are going, too. Whereas, of course, Magman has no idea where 400 scouting is. Actually, I don't think Magman even knows that 400 is going for Spiderbot Factory. I don't think there's any indication for 400 that, or for Magman, that 400 is doing anything. Except now. Now Magman knows. And is apparently trying to, trying to actually flush out the fleas. Which isn't working too well. These bandits cannot go up a cliff. Why, Magman, are you trying to force the bandits to go up a cliff? They cannot go up. They don't have arms. How are they supposed to climb up a cliff without arms? I mean, their their model is based off of something that could barely handle a staircase. A cliff is out of the question. Anyhow, Magman now getting the reclaim on, and both players relatively... Sorry, 400 getting the reclaim on. Both players relatively even. Magman, of course, continuing with the reclaim. That's what they've been doing this entire game. I just can't seem to tell blue from red, even when they're on the right side. From each other, relatively. <sighs> Besides that, Magman expanding to the north, as is 400. Both players pretty much staying relatively even. Magman a little bit ahead in terms of territory. 400, of course, like I said, does have basically full knowledge of where Magman is. And that Magman is being very aggressive. Pushing with their commander as well, just going for beam laser so far. Nothing too unusual. Magman's commander thus far isn't really looking like they're trying to be an aggressive commander, a RAR style commander. Just supporting, building up some stuff, getting map control in the center. That seems to be the MO here. But the bandits, on the other hand, that's where the real fight's coming in here. And this is not going to go super well. For the bandits, I mean. The Venom's already in here. The rec Recluse is coming in. This is unusual. With Venom support, it kind of makes sense to use Recluses. And I guess they also are thinking the Outlaw. The Outlaw's a pain in the butt. Redback would have a bit of a harder time. But this is kind of risky. I mean, if the Venoms die, then the Recluse is probably dead. So really, it's just a matter of you have the Venom and then something to finish it off. It doesn't matter in this case if it's a Recluse or a Redback or a Thug. Any of them will work because there's nothing fighting back. But if Magman starts building a bunch of bandits, although admittedly they are accessing their metals, having not built enough energy and not reclaiming right now. But yeah, if they build up a bunch more bandits and just push through the Venoms or just get rid of the Venoms in any other way... Those Recluses don't have a huge chance. But as long as the Venoms are there, the Recluses will be fine. It's just, it really comes down to synergy right now. That's going to be the entire game. On the other hand, Recluse is generally pretty good, like, as a base assault unit, as an anti-defense unit. Like, there are a lot of good things it can do. It's just going to require the Venoms to not die to Bandits, which are unfortunately not in position right now, so these Bandits are able to come in one of the recluses dying as it's trying to escape, the other two successfully escaping. But still, not the most accurate, and that's the thing. They're not super accurate, especially against moving targets. Where are the Venoms? Well, there's one over to the south, protecting the south expansion. And it looks like 400 is clearly expanding quite a lot. Magman as well, but Magman's energy is way too low. They've been accessing metal for the last minute. That's probably got to be at least 600 to 1,000 metal excess so far. 400 also accessing metal on reclaim. That's a little silly. They really need to build more energy. Both players desperately needing more energy right now. Building way too much metal. Not enough energy. 
trying to use Reclaim to get the energy deficit dealt with, that's a good stopgap measure, but it's not everything. You do need to have power plants. Magman, however, has still been forced back. Their force is not able to push through the Recluses, the sheer number of them. And having switched over heavily to Thugs, didn't really have the forces to deal with Recluses other than the remaining bandits from the last pass. However, more bandits are being built, and the commander still under some attack, but yeah, this is where it's going to become a little bit problematic. 400's commander coming under attack by the outlaws and thugs, and not moving back, relying on the recluses to deal with this, which it will... I don't think it'll do in time. 400's commander moving back, but the venoms are... well, one's to the south. Where's the other one? That's it! One of them, I guess, must have died. However, yeah, 400 going pure recluse, which... That's really risky. Like I said, they've, they've got to go for Venom at some point. I mean, there are the bandits. There's the bandits. That's what's going to get rid of these recluses. The recluses have very little chance of dealing with this. If they had Venoms alongside, they'd have no problem. They don't. Thus, they have a problem. 400, however, is definitely reclaiming more regularly to get their energy back up, but they still need regular power plants. The Reclaim helps, but they need more power plants. Getting some wind generators up, this is not a good map for them. 0.1 to 2.5 is super risky. They may work, they might not. Big gamble, but could very well become useless. However, if they were solar plants, that'd be a lot more effective. It's just, this map does look like things are high enough where you could do it, but yeah. 0.1 to 2.5, that is the range. That's all the wind generators can do. So 0.1 minimum is, for me, way too low. At least, if you're trying to get your energy back on track using it. If you're using for supplementary energy, I guess it's fine. But if you're using it to get your energy to the point that it's actually not causing you to excess metal, you can actually reclaim metal without problems, I wouldn't use a wind generator on this map. And Magman, getting a bunch of solar plants up, I agree with that much more. They're going to have a much more stable energy economy, and they're also going to be able to very quickly get that bandit raid going. And at this point... 400 finally getting more Venoms up. They just need to get in position now. If they get in position, the Venoms should be okay. Should be able to deal with the Bandits. Magman, however, like, overall, Magman is actually a little bit behind. 400 does have a bit more map control. They can get rid of pretty much any static defenses, no problem. The Bandits are the main problem with the raiding going on. Because Raiders beat Skirmishers as a rule. But the Bandits are actually getting pretty afraid. They are, however, point moving. I keep... I keep saying line move. Line move is a thing. Use line move, especially against skirmishers. That makes it a lot easier to not die. I don't know why Magman's not doing that. I don't know if it's the same reason to say Don, who I talked to about it, and apparently Don does it because they want to have... Like, they'd rather have something that works more like the homeworld formation system, where you just pick a formation and pick... and becomes a squad, and you click on any one of the units, and the whole thing is now selected, and then they move as a formation, rather than this line move custom formation thing, and I can kind of see the value of that. But that doesn't mean that point move is bad, it just means that line move, while a very flexible system, may have room for some shortcuts. Regardless, bandits going away from the recluses entirely, leaving the commander to die, leaving the stingers to die too, pretty quick, or, well, maybe. They're not aiming for, are they for the stingers, they're for the commander. Well, it doesn't really matter. Count attacks going on both sides. Magman's attack to the south, dealing a decent amount of damage to 400's forces. 400 actually apparently did go for quite a few solar collectors, so they did fix up their power situation beyond just a few wind generators, which is good. I'm glad they did that. On the other hand, Magman's commander getting a lot of damage taken. The Racketeer is the one thing that's possibly saving this, but even then it's kind of problematic. However, at the same time, 400's main base getting destroyed. Spider Factory about to go down before the crab is able to be completed. And this is almost a base trade situation, except not totally. All but four recluses have died. Racketeers are causing loads of problems. The commander about to die, which will, I think, take out all of the... Well, damage most of the Venoms. Take out one of the Venoms. Damage the rest, opening up the base to 400's forces. 400 in a really good position to rebuild, though. They still have their commander. The commander's outside of their base. They have a backup factory to the south. Spider again. Getting that set up is done pretty quick, and Magman throwing in the towel with no backup, no commander, no other workers. Yeah, 400 kind of had map control that entire game. I mean, they had the north and the south side, and Magman 
despite the fact that Magma had a decently strong army punching through the center, they didn't have enough to deal with this. I mean, I think if they'd gotten rid of the Recluses directly, but unfortunately their tactics with the Bandits didn't really allow them to get through the Recluses' spread fire because the Bandits were too close together. And I'm curious, but... Oh yeah, Mag wow, that's a lot of excess. 3,600 metal excess. Ouch. Yeah, that really widens the gap between them. Like, energy income is a big deal, especially on this map. And I know I've mentioned before reclaiming is pretty good in this map, and it is. But you have to reclaim transition into solid economy. You have to reclaim transition into a static economy. Reclaim is handy for getting you there and getting you there a little bit faster. But unless you're going through with, like, six workers, and even then that's risky. Reclaiming all of the trees, that's not going to happen. You have to get all the reclaim just to the point that you can get your static economy going and then maybe a supplement later on in the game. So yeah, that's that. So that game being over, we move on to the next game, which is going to be Kshatriya and Don on Into Battle. That'll be up in a couple minutes, so stay tuned.